did it ever cross your mind or could you be so blind? Maybe I was the one that couldn't see all the things you took from me. My name is Joan Hunton Mills and I was married for 15 years to my abuser. I was silent for many years because I was ashamed and I was embarrassed and I did not want anyone to know. Our family, we've always just let things go for peace sake, just leave it alone, just peace sake. I said, no, I don't want to leave anything alone anymore. I said, I want us to bring it out in the open. Each time I speak about it, it's become more cathartic. It's like peeling off a layer of, you know, peeling off the layer and peeling it off the layer until finally, now I can talk about it without crying or without any tears. Before, I would start talking and I would just start crying because it was just so raw. But now, I'm at a place where I can discuss it, I can talk about it, and I can move forward because I'm empowered and I feel strong and I'm moving on and I'm just looking for the next chapter. I used to do poetry a long time ago, but while going through domestic violence, I forgot that I even knew how to write poetry because when you're going through domestic violence, that's not even something that enters your mind. You're just trying to survive day to day. And I realized that I could take my pain, put it on paper, and once I put it on paper, it was like, it was cathartic. It was no longer in here. It was on paper, and it couldn't hurt me anymore. And because I spoke out, I think my children also think that I'm a stronger person, and that I, can, I have dealt with this, and so they look at me and say, wow, mom is really, she's come through so much. And look at her, she's, she's standing. She didn't crumble, she didn't fall. She stood tall. Now I see the light and got a chance. I found movement, I found dance. I now reclaim what you once stole. Claim my body, my mind, my soul.